Oh, now we're gonna now we're gonna take a look at a little bit of craziness. Now we're gonna take a look at Ali Ali Oxenfree. And let's see who this man is. I, I look forward to learning about car burglary. <laughs> oh god, is everybody a criminal in this group? Fucking Christ. Is there anybody that doesn't have a goddamn rap sheet in America first? Is that possible? Is it possible not to just be chock full of fucking criminals? All right, let's take a look. That's what Kino Shea linked to. Uh, GNN, uh, which I believe stands for Gunt News Network. Who is Ali Alexander, a man who has attached himself to Nick Fuentes since the Stop the Steal campaign in 2020? A felon, thief, GOP operative, wannabe e-celeb, and child predator, question mark. <laughs> Are we going to go dark here? Uh, you probably know uh, Ollie Best from his Periscope streams in 2019 and his part on Stop Steals rallies with Nick and Alex. Stop the Steal went about as well as you'd expect considering who was in charge. Uh, did they spurg out? Let's see. <laughs> we're not crowd. No, we're, we're not. We're not. We're not the left. We're not going to democratize that's ideas. We, that's how we can stop Listen to me. Listen to it's me. Feasible. Listen it's to me. Holy shit! He really does look like Sammy Davis Jr. Oh my god! How fitting! How fitting! The man that looks like Sammy Davis Jr. is literally part of a new age rat pack. Except these guys aren't crooners; they're criminals. Bad idea. Listen to me. What? Listen. Peaceful sitting. That's what we'll call. Here we go. If the hillbillies make up all the ideas, then we're gonna lose the country. So. <laughs> Oh, nothing like a black dude in the middle of a bunch of white guys from America first calling them fucking hillbillies. Put aside your pride. Listen to me. Okay. Here we go. If the hillbillies make up all the ideas. And <laughs> I don't think Jethro looks a little, a little bit pissed. We're going to lose the country. So put aside your pride. Listen to me. What the fuck did that nigger just call me? Did he call me a hillbilly? I thought Sammy Davis Jr. was dead. How the fuck? What kind of voodoo shit did he? How's he out of the grave? Alex. Is the shit that's making the frogs gay resurrecting Negroes? But I, I, I've got that same hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Let's see. Currently, Ali is deplatformed for most social media, mostly posting to Telegram, True Social, and streaming on Cozy TV owned by Nicholas Fuentes. And then there's a thread on Nick <laughs> with that picture prominently featured. Uh, but who exactly is Ali? Born Ali Abdul Razak Akbar? <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up! His name is Ali Akbar? No! Chad, is that for real? His name, his fucking name is Akbar? Ali Abdul Razik Akbar. I think you, I think you might be fucking with me a little bit. Kanoche, is this the legitimate? <laughs> Ali Akbar! <laughs> oh. Started out his criminal life doing credit card fraud in 2007, for which uh, his probation didn't end until 2012. Oh, wow. I thought he was a car thief. Easier to hide your criminal history when you change your name. Wait, so is he a car thief or is it cre like a credit fraud? Are we doing both? Uh, this wouldn't be the first time Ali committed financial fraud, as he would later head the National Bloggers Club. There's a National Bloggers Club? <laughs> Fucking what? And claim to have a 501c3, that's a charity one, right? 501c3 status? Uh, when this was uncovered by Breitbart unmasked, Ollie changed the status to non-profit. Wait, I'm more, there's a National Bloggers Club. God, that just screams, <laughs> that just screams front company, doesn't it? Uh, problem is, Ollie never applied for legal non-profit status in the state of Texas seized control of business in 2014. Since then, Ali has spent the rest of his time floating from one political operation to the next, promoting himself as a fixer, despite only making messes. In 2012, he was ousted as the gay lover of Carl... <laughs> what? What the fuck? Great Photoshop, by the way. Oh, God. Do you think... Do you think... Did Ali drag his black balls across Carl's head? Did he give him a wax? Is an Ali Akbar, Ali Akbar waxing of Karl Rove's bald head with his black balls. Ali was caught uh, with a Grinder account. Grinder is a gay data gap version of Tinder. Ali claims to be a Christian promoting traditional family values. Smart outgoing and buy. Uh oh, uh oh, it gets worse. In a now deleted tweet, Wayne Dupree show said to Ali, he was uh, he was shocked by what uh, you have done to a potentially untouched kid with dreams. 
referring to 12 year old the cj pearson who the fuck is the cj pearson uh, cj pearson what you've done to a potentially untouched kid with dreams akbar's latest friend is a 12 year old darling of fox news and a total fraud from an open secret, Ollie was 28 at the time, was tweeting with a 14-year-old boy. Why was Ollie trying to fly a 14-year-old boy he's not related to to get together? Oh, this is starting to get dark, isn't it? Uh, next year, I'll get my baby brother, my best friend on, and my best friend, Mosley Mosley, together for a Florida NYE. Had fun at IHOP with my little bro, Mosley Mosley, this morning. Blood doesn't mean much. <laughs> You think that's what he whispers in the ears of the people he fucks in the ass? It's okay. It's just a little blood. You'll get over it. Also from an open secret in a Periscope stream, all he responds to his chat about accusations that he was soliciting sex from a 17-year-old boy. His response, you can have whatever conversation you want with someone who's 17. Oh, that's not looking good. Let's listen. In this video clip, Ali Alexander allegedly is responding to... Uh, claims made that there was a 17-year-old who had accused Ali of some sort of, you know, sexually explicit conversation with him over Periscope, something of that nature. Let's listen to Ali describe his understanding of the law, and then let's find out what the real law actually says. I also like how when he gives that answer, he licks his lips. Did you catch that chat? Let's back that up. Watch. Do you see that shit? Is he reptilian? What was that? It's like some Epstein shit. You can talk to as many little boys as you want. Licks his lips. See, he darts it out like he's eating a fly. Okay, I, I think we heard the part that we were supposed to hear from this particular clip. Let's move on. Uh, JNN believes this comes from a screenshot of what the 17-year-old uh, showing with Ali, where the 17-year-old is declining money in exchange for shirtless pictures? What? That's good. That's a good cause. I will Ethan the Eldest. Cool. Let me show you my... Let me put on my clown outfit now. Why? Just hope I'm not coming across cringe, LOL. <laughs> is he, is he? <coughs> Jesus, Kinoche, is he making little boys dress up as clowns? What the fuck is going on? Uh, credit again to an open secret. Uh, having sexual conversations on the internet with anyone who is below the age of 18 is a crime under federal law, despite what Ollie thinks. They've got some statutes there. It's kind of weird how activists who claim to promote traditional family values keep finding themselves promoting Ollie, who is a sex pest who targets young boys and sleeps with men. Nick Fuentes, how does sex with underage boys help us win the culture war? Janet was provided a screenshot from Jaden McNeil showing a group chat which included Nick Fuentes. This is from November 2020 during Stop the Steal. McNeil warns Fuentes about all his past with children. Fuentes acknowledges it, but says he has to play ball since Ollie organized the event. Abdul Ali Z, Al Omari Ali Abdul Rakash, two of the guys that hijacked the planes, one on 9-11, one of them is an anti-white, uh, gay, ugly pedo. He asked me to give him a little backup. He's the gatekeeper for the event, so I have to play ball, unfortunately. I don't like it, but honestly, we have to look at the bigger picture here. So is Nick Fuentes saying that he believes the accusations against Ali Alexander lusting after teen boy ass are real? But because it's politically expedient for him, he's willing to play ball. It's just unfortunate. It's a, it's a, hey, it's unfortunate some kids get fucked in the ass, but you don't understand. I need to get to this event. I have to play ball. Dude. Also from Jaden McNeil, here's Ollie directly asking a 16 to 17 year old boy, uh, boy Lance videos for a photo of his penis. Is the, is the username Lance videos? Is that, is that, okay, well, I don't know. But let's see. Anything for fame, man. Uh, I'll send me snap. So would you send me a snap? Opened. Show me your uh, your your dong. What's that? Oh my god, dick. I'm not a tester, bro. Texter. 
dude. Uh, who knew that Ollie had such a, a hidden dirt? In a follow-up, an open secret posted highlighted earlier in the thread. Here's Ollie posting about a 12-year-old 12, 12 boy, Matthew Mosley? What the fuck? If I, if I, okay, what is he saying? Is it weird that only... Is it weird that one of closest friends is 12? Don't care. Yeah, Ollie, it is weird, I would say, that you're posting young boy photos and saying they're your best friends. I'd say, yeah, that is kind of weird. Uh, the story keeps growing. A victim of Ollie's came forward to GNN and wishes to remain anonymous. He says, Ollie asked him for a video of him jacking off his collateral for securing a job with Alex Jones. At least this one was 22 and not 16. Ollie Alexander tried to recruit me into getting a job for Alex Jones a few years ago when I was just graduating from college. He would hit on me subtly through text and eventually ask for a video of me jacking off as collateral for the job. Guy is a complete homo and a psycho. Definitely did this with way more people as well. Now that is the, the Kinoche thread up on uh, Twitter. Again, I don't know shit about Ollie, aside from the time traveler nonsense. <clears throat> uh, but God, how many boys was that? <laughs> like fucking four or five boys in that thread alone? Oh, and the damning one. Is coming from Nick Fuentes, or he's like, I know, but I need to, I need to play ball. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate, but I need to play ball. Nick, what happened to your principal positions? It's not looking good, bros. A few. <laughs> A few. Oh. Now, was anybody able to find the I'm a time traveler thing? Oh, come on. Let's see. Sandy Berries, did you find the I'm a time traveler thing? Let me see if that's it. Oh my god, you did. Thank you, Zanny Berries. <laughs> Trump time traveler promises his abilities can give Kari Lake the win. Oh, Zanny, is this the one where he's pure schizophrenia in the whole thing? Where he's like, I am from the future. I use my mental power to leap through time. <laughs> he had like quantum leap. It's quantum tard. Is that is that the one? Oh, let's, what happened to optics? Oh, those got blown out of the water. Yeah, that's great. Nick had an organization that spent three years screaming optics at everybody until they went away and then decides to make the biggest clown show on earth. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got Ollie. Even oh, if Carrie was. Okay, there we go. We've got Ollie Alexander, um, the super, the super uh, time traveler. <laughs> Pure schizo shit. Let's take a look at that. Let me get it queued up. This should be fun, I think. Time Bandits. Okay. What channel is this? Watch watch list TYT. Is this the Young Turks? <laughs> Did the Young Turks see this? And they're like, holy shit, this is pure crazy. Oh my god, finally. Finally we can make people look at some other crazy shit and people will forget that St. Uger has something, uh, you know, that he lost after Horsecock. Maybe that little, that little Spanish guy, Dame, will leave us alone if we put up this crazy black guy talking about time traveling to save Kerry Lake. I get it. I see what you're doing, the Young Turks. I understand why we're doing this. Nobody will ask us about the Armenian genocide anymore if we put up if we put up crazy black guy, uh, a skin wearer, <laughs> fucking Sammy Davis, Scammy Davis Jr. If we put a video of him talking about time travel. Okay. Uh, this clip's seven minutes long, and we're going to watch it. Please, I hope it's the one I'm thinking of, where he's just, just completely insane. I was going to lose, I would will it into existence. And I know that. Oh, and that Mike Hum is on his end. I know my sound quality shit, but that's his video. It sounds kooky. And I know that sounds crazy. What if I told you that all of us are capable of traveling? Well, not all of us, because you're not smart enough, but what if I told you that. Um. <laughs> Uh, actually, okay, um, if this is, by the way, one of the biggest, uh, scam things outside of cold reading you could ever do, uh, one of the ways to get people to agree with you, even if you say the most outrageous shit on earth, is to say only smart people can do this. Because if you then say it's not possible, you're admitting you're an idiot. That is such a grifter con man fucking paper moon shit to do. Actually, 
Um, some of you just aren't smart enough to time travel like I am because I am a genius. There are a lot of people capable of time traveling. They just don't know it. What if I told you that time traveling is easier than you think? Uh, it requires a lot of discipline and no machines. <laughs> okay, step one. You got to get completely naked and then start messaging boys on Instagram. No, no, trust me, chat. This is how we time travel. Completely naked. You must message them all. And voila, you're now in the year 2030. Amazing. Ellie Alexander there, maybe you can recognize him. He was one of the organizers, the organizer. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want commentary. I want crazy. No, 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 no. Uh, no, Zanny Berries, I need the unfiltered schizo shit. If we, have, if we have a normal person talking interspersed with it, it ruins the flavor. There are too many cooks in the kitchen. Does anybody have the unfiltered schizophrenia from this guy? Where it's just him talking about being a time traveler? Oh, <laughs> Somebody in chat time portals and little boys' anuses? I think maybe. You know what? Well, fuck it. All right, we'll roll with it. We'll roll with it. Uh, whatever. Well, we'll still get our schizo shit. That's fine. And stop the steel rally. Yeah, that rally that sent all those MAGA foot soldiers towards the cat. Me on a wild day. Okay, let's Just don't catch me on a wild day. Pete Davidson one time got on my. Okay, you know what? I think that low humming. Is he trying to hypnotize us? Is Ali Alexander using binaural beats to try to hypnotize us into believing he's a time traveler? Yes. My bad side. And almost killed himself. So, you're not going to believe me. He does that in mind as he talks. But I, I want to re listen to that because is he saying that um, if, you get on his, if you get on his bad side, you'll commit suicide? Just don't catch me on a wild day. Pete Davidson one time got on my bad side and almost killed himself. So, you're not going to believe me. It doesn't matter. The, the point is, is that no one needs to believe you the first time. The point is, you just need to tell them a the first time. Oh, no. Did I not switch over so you can watch it? I mean, it's the audio we want anyway. I, 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 okay, fair enough. I'll put the video up if you want to watch the video. I thought the audio by itself was fine, but that's all right. That's okay. We can we can watch it. You can see Ollie's little little rat face. He's not doing any songs for us. There's no, there's no uh, shuffle step involved. It's just him with his uh, binaural beats hypnotism microphone convincing us that if you get on his bad side, uh, you're going to commit suicide. What if I told you that the reason why the New World Order wants you to focus on fiction stories about machines is they don't want you to know that everyone has access to time travel? Oh, my God. Boys. Ali Alexander is going after big fiction. All right, we gotta, we're in trouble. I know big fiction's a powerful entity that exists out in the uh, the world here. Those <laughs> <laughs> big one publishing is gonna kill us now. All right, you, we're, we're, he's fighting a war with big fiction. What if I told you, uh, actually, um, that every sci-fi book you read um, is part of the conspiracy? And that you need to get naked and message boys on Instagram. And that's actually how you time travel. Yes, of course the Jews time travel. So if the Jews are the ones that can time travel, Ali Akbar, are you a Jew? <laughs> oh, and the other black guy's like, God damn, that nigger's fucking crazy. Oh, but see, now, look, th that was the end of it. No, I need more. I need, you can't, you can't fucking do that. You can't just, you can't cock tease me like that. You can't cock tease me with crazy like that. Oh, boys, come on. No, no, we can't, you can't do that. You can't, you can't, <laughs> time traveling, you can't end it on time traveling kikes. What the fuck? No, I need more. Okay, somebody said, here it is. All right, let me, let me pull it up. Please tell me it's just unfiltered crazy fuck. No, I think this is the video we just watched. Yeah, no, this is a TYT one. That's the same video we just watched. I, I wanted like a a clip of him just by himself. 
screaming about time traveling. Got to stop the Jews. The Jews are using their time traveling powers to circumcise babies. Oh, my God. Oh, this is terrible. Rabbis traveling through time to eat foreskin. All backed by big fiction. <laughs> is that? Wow. That is some mics in the wall shit, ladies and gentlemen. The Jews are using time travel to eat foreskins, and they're financed by big fiction. Okay, somebody said, all right, so it's on Kiwi Farms. Is it the unfiltered one on Kiwi Farms? Please say yes. If it is, we'll take a look. If I can, if Kiwi Farms will load for me, I know the trannies are going on. They're fucking jihad against them. You know, God forbid. And just leave the fucking website alone. But nope, nope, nope. Axe Wound's got to get all, all pissy about it. Oh my God, there are a lot of fucking clips. A lot of clips. Okay. Well, this 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 video is only two minutes long. I think that's the bulk of what we saw. But there's another video up here. I'll just play the audio through. There's another video up here that says he believes he's endowed with the he's endowed with the power of prophecy. Look, I I'm human. I think that one of my spiritual gifts is uh, that I am a seer. I do think that, that is one of my spiritual gifts. I have an uncanny ability to either flirt with prophecy or 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 be endowed with prophecy sometimes. Um, so I'm definitely a seer. I am a I am a seer. I am not. Listen, I'm out here fighting big fiction and the Jews using my time travel abilities. But God also gave me the ability to see the future. OK, wait a minute. If God gave you the ability to see the future, gave you the ability of prophecy, why would you need to time travel? Isn't that redundant? Like, I have the ability of prophetic vision and I'm a time traveler? Why both? <laughs> Why do you need both? Why do you get two hot dogs, Ollie? Hmm? I don't understand it. Are there any other crazy quotes from him in here as long as we're looking at it? A lot of people making fun of him. Looks like Red Bar likes to shit on him. Always good. I don't know, let's see. Time travel video, a doubt with prophecy. He says he's the most he's the most successful right wing organizer in American history and comparable to Jesus. Oh, come the fuck on. I am the archetype of America. And so they projected reflections of their own ego into me and said I was the one who had an outsized view of self when it was them. How are you going to tell a car mechanic how to fix a car? How are you going to tell a political strategist what is strategy inside of politics? How are you going to tell one of the most accurate forecasters of political events since at least 2018, but more broadly since 2012? How are you going to tell him what the outcomes are? How are you going to tell the most successful right-wing organizer in American history, how to organize the masses? How are the Pharisees and the Sadducees going to question Jesus on blasphemy the day of the Sabbath? How are those Luddites going to question Socrates? <laughs> Come on, dude. This guy is crazy as fuck. Any more clips? I'm, I'm sorry, chat. I didn't know we were dealing with the time-traveling Jesus Christ come to fight big fiction and stop those Jews from using their DeLoreans. Wow. Holy shit. What the fuck is going on with America First? What kind of clown show shit is this, Nick? Like, what the? why are you surrounding yourself with the craziest brown people you can find? Okay, so what do I know now about Ollie? Well, uh, he could travel through time and see the future because God gave him the ability of prophecy. Uh, he is basically Jesus Christ and the, the most famous political organizer in American history. Um, and also he's like totally like Socrates and junk. Okay? Um, actually, <laughs> 
I'm uh, kind of like Socrates. Maybe you don't understand that because you're not smart enough. Uh, a car thief, I guess. Burglar? Was that what the accusation was? A credit card fraudster? <laughs> a friend of many young boys on the internet? It's not looking. It's not looking good. I'll be honest with you. Not looking great here. From N three three three. All I want for Christmas is to sniff Pippa Pipkin's armpits. See, it's already spreading. It's already spreading, boys. Poor Pippa. <laughs> Pippa's gonna be like, what "The fuck are you talking about armpits? I never said anything about that." Where the fuck is this coming from? Oh well, Jim. You know, Jim said some stuff on stream, and now we want Pippa's pits. Now it's Pippa pits time. Sad. <laughs> oh, like is this? I don't, I don't understand. I don't know what Nick is doing. I don't know what Nick is doing. I don't understand what the fuck this is. I, I, I guess you know the the screen cap said it best. He, he play ball. Uh, you know, get what he wants politically. He'll look the other way regardless of what's going on. If he can get some capital off of it. So you've got fake Alaska. Going to jail for pepper spraying people. In fact, let's put a picture of baked up. There we go. <laughs> there we go. So you've got baked Alaska going to jail for macing people. He's going to go to jail for J6. That's all happening in 2023. Got Ethan Ralph, which you know his storied past, now hiding in Mexico from the A-Hogs. You've got Ali Alexander, who is probably schizophrenic. That he thinks he's time traveling Jesus fighting big fiction. I'm talking like Mike's in the wall schizo shit. Just, just, I don't even. How do you, uh, how do you even quantify it? You've got Dalton Claude Felter, who, aside from being boring, uh, dances for mommy. I mean, I guess Dalton's the cleanest, right? Because he doesn't have like a fucking cr him and Kai maybe are like the cleanest. They don't have like some weird fucking criminal record. There's, there's not there's not Snapchats and Instagrams of them talking to 12-year-olds. So I, I guess. Good job for those two. You got Beardson dating imaginary women at gas stations that don't exist and buying used shoes at Goodwill. Like, fuck. You got, you got Nick running around with a schizo just trying to leech off that shit to get his view numbers up. Like, what the fuck is America first? <laughs> Aside from a joke. Oh, somebody said Dalton got fat. I haven't watched any of Dalton's stuff lately. Like I know he's doing like the shock jock shit. And I know he likes to dance for mommy. He likes to moonwalk a lot. But outside of that, I don't know. 